Hey everybody, it's Trisha. I just want to do a quick video on um, tomato plants. Um, I have eight. Sorry, the, the roosters are playing a little game of um, crow war. But I have eight different types of tomato plants in here. And then I have four different types of tomato plants in here. Um, these were just planted this past weekend. And these, really, really, these were planted, um, I think, around mid-April. And these do have flowers on them already. Most of them do have flowers. I have not seen any tomatoes yet starting to come up, but I um, just want to talk about, my goodness, um, planting tomatoes in the garden. You're going to want to plant about two-thirds of the plant into the soil. So these plants are actually, have been started deeper than this box. I really dug into the ground under the box. Um, and these here as well, oh, we actually do have a little flower right there. This is a little cherry, husky cherry red. This plant was, um, I want to say it was about um, maybe eight inches tall when I planted it. And you can see it's really, really in there. Um, it will still have roots coming out the side. This is a, a vine plant, so roots will still come out of the side of the plant and and search for for water and nutrients. And so tomatoes are kind of cool that way. You want to get them really deep in there, and make them makes for healthier plants. Um, so now I'm going to go to the front yard and show you my um, tomato experiment for this year. Okay, we're in the front yard and the roosters are still going at it, but um, this is what I um, I made this year, earlier this spring. Um, if you've ever seen those, if you've ever seen those topsy turvies, um, well, I don't want to spend ten dollars on a topsy turvy, so I bought a four dollar four dollar five gallon bucket at Walmart. Here's one of them. It did have a tomato plant in the bottom of it. A bad storm came through and blew the bucket down and killed the plant. So I just have some radishes growing out of there now. Um, so it's a $4 bucket. You don't even have to buy a bucket. You can find buckets everywhere. There's always five-gallon buckets behind buildings. Um, restaurants and all will have like old pickle buckets just sitting around and you can grab one. But anyway, what I did was I took a pair of snips like this and I poked a hole in the bottom of the bucket and then I cut out a circle and it's not perfect at all there's just chunks of plastic hanging everywhere um, I then took the plant the plant was tiny the plant was like this I held the the leaves close to the stem and I just pushed it through the hole from the top um, I wrapped a coffee filter around the base of the stem to keep any of the soil from coming out and I put soil in the bucket and that's it and I just water it and everyone told me you know tomatoes don't like being grown upside down um, it's not gonna live blah 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 but that is a baby Roma tomato right there and it has flowers on it been doing really well it's growing crooked it um, started out looking like this piece here came out of the bucket and started growing up towards the Sun and that actually is gonna have flowers on it um, and then it got longer looking like this and the Sun has flowers as well and then it got top-heavy and kind of came down and twisted and it just hangs the cool part is that the the top of the leaves, the shinier part of the leaves up top, are still facing towards the sun. It it turns itself to still, you know, get to the sun the way it wants to. So, I think that's pretty cool. There's my upside down tomato plant. And I have it just hanging from these two hooks on my grapevine trellis that has no top grapes are starting 
to go above it so I'm going to have to um, just put the the boards I don't know we kind of just made this out of landscape timbers and two by fours it's nothing fancy but it does its job um, and I want to say this grapevine's about um, six years old there's little grapes can't really see it. It's really bright out here. Anyway, um, just want to talk about tomatoes and that's it. <laughs>